Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We just did the DLC, or is it DLC now that it's just included? Uh, we did bring down the sky. And hold on, there there was a miss there was a mission that we just got beforehand, besieged base. Yeah, so I got this because uh, I got over a certain percentage of paragon points. So I guess we can do that. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Yeah, there's a there's a couple assignments that we can wrap up. Uh, I'm not going to do the ones that require me to go to the Citadel because I'm going to have to go to the Citadel after Vermeer anyway, so I'll just save that for then. Oh, many, many belts. Another green planet. Always love those. They they really do look very nice in uh, Legendary Edition. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get you to max out lift. All right, let's go do it. I think I've made a mistake taking the rocky path. This is fine. Yeah, this is absolutely fine. No. Okay, maybe it's not so bad. Or maybe it is. I don't know yet. We did it! Alright, what do we got in here? I am I am sucking at these today. I am absolutely blowing it. Protein data disk. Okay. Okay. Now we have two civilian structures and a science building. So I guess we can go do those. I forget what's in them. Get up. Nailed it. Sorry? I see the little red dot. If I fire there... God, the entire colony must have been transformed. What do you mean? Transformed in what? I couldn't even see what I was shooting at. I'll we'll have to get closer. There we go. Hacking some rocks. Hello. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, a husks. Is that right? Why? Is 
Is this a Cerberus thing? I think this is a Cerberus thing. Those bastards again. Unbelievable. Got him. Perimeter clear. Okay. Sludge canister. Sounds delicious. Medium armor. Yeah, because my armor has sort of been lagging behind a little bit, so that's nice. Doesn't seem to be anything else, unless I'm missing something. Just full of a bunch of husks. Predator armor. Well, I'll be damned. That's some good stuff right there. Okay, I guess I'm. I guess I'm leaving. And that's all there is. That's what there be. No greeting party. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, there's many red dots. Just knock them all off. I am absolutely sending I think them. We're good, that's that's it, I guess. Okay. Last stop. Come on, come on, up you go. You can do it. You're the Mako. Hello. Bye then. Got it. Mm. Yeah, that's a good sign. That's always a good sign. Got them all. All right. Well, let's let's have a look at this totally normal science facility. Uh, 
colonial pioneer team rarely consists of, a f of more than a few dozen specialists. It's clear that none of them have survived. The Cerberus group has a lot to answer here. Mm. That's not where we want it to be. But uh, that was a thing. An important thing, possibly, for, for the future to keep in mind. Okay, so now I know I went to the wrong system, but that's fine. Looks like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal. Okay, well let's uh, let's go get him. That's the planet. Okay, well, we've already got red dots, so I guess let's go see what the hell is going on over there. What's what's that heading towards, anyway? Nothing, apparently. Thorian Creepers? I'm sorry. But why? Why would there be Thorian creepers here unless it's Cerberus again? I think I like that better. It's still pretty accurate, but not like pinpoint. Do I really want to go down there? Not really, but I'm going to do it anyway. There you go. You figured it out. Can I, can I leave? Thank you. You leave, I'll follow. Now we're doing this the easy way. That's a, that's a big mountain in my way. Uh, ancient debris. All right. Guess we're going to another science facility because that worked out so well last time. I just worked so hard to get up there. Please don't fall. Don't. Thank you. Come on, get up there. Yes. Landed it. Pooped him again. Oh 
Okay. Oh, there was still one left. Thanks for taking care of him. Well, this is a nice little reception area. What you got going on? With the with the goopy sacks. It's a lot easier to hit multiple guys with this shotgun as well. The other one was nice, but this has more more utility. Hold on. It's time for a photo. Beautiful. Oh, there's a door. What's going on in here? They're a little bit dead. Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. I need to know what's going on. Why is this place crawling with Thorian creepers? How do you know about the Thorian? I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists, so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. It <laughs> does serve them right. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the Creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the Creepers here. I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? You were in charge of this project. The safety of the staff was your responsibility. They trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but... It sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. The victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire! Tally, it's good. Go, go, go. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Okay, so we have a couple of things to do in the Hades Gamma area. And, uh, 
then we will be pretty much ready to head out to uh, to Vermeer. I'm not sure which one this is that I'm heading to, but it's one of the ones. Okay, we've got a couple of things to look at. Is this... This is a trap. Right? This is a trap? Yep. Yep. Do it. I felt it in my bones that this was a Thresher Moth. Well, now that that's taken care of, let's go uh, elsewhere. This place looks abandoned. Yeah, it sure does. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Perhaps we will find more answers at the excavation site. Oh yeah, that's always... That always leads to good things. Check the other buildings real quick. Yeah, this looks this looks all kinds of good and normal. The survey team must have unearthed some alien technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Whatever they found, it is long gone now. some interesting technology. Oh, hey. Exogenic. 
Uh, they were converted into cybernetic husks by the devices similar used to the Geth. Well, that's... That's real good for them. Good job, guys. Okay, this is uh, probably the last assignment that we're going to do before we head to Vermeer. Anything in the Astro Belt? No. Okay, we've got an anomalous single. Uh, so, yeah, good with words. Okay, that's a fuel tank for some reason. Uh, close to the transmitter, your comms pick up a recording of a wisp, wistful string quartet. Okay. Uh, you power the system down. Whoever lived here, they haven't been back for some time. The crates are covered with Kohei's chalky dust, and the status lights of the shack indicate its atmosphere ran out long ago. Okay. Interesting. All right, I guess we're heading down to another science base. Big open field. I don't like big open fields. They usually mean thresher mall. Knock, knock. Take down the terrorists, but remember to check your targets. Oh, yes. Okay, so I need to be a real careful. All right, let's get in there. And uh, we're going to be real careful not to accidentally shoot anyone. And we're going to save just in case we do. Okay, that's... A scientist. That's biotic. Garrus, could you uh, do 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 one of those, please? And thank you. You cannot stop the future. And I'm just getting thrown around, aren't I? Up you go. Of humanity, you cannot stop the future. No, Sh shut up. Apparently, civilian losses were tolerable. I don't know what that means. Message coming in. Patching it through. Good work, Commander. You took down the biotics with minimal collateral damage. I killed innocent people today, Admiral. The biotics set it up, but I pulled the trigger. 
antibiotics had every advantage, including human shields. You lost a handful of civilians. Any other unit I sent in would have lost dozens of innocent lives. You saved a lot. Okay, well, hey, that's all I have this time. And uh, next time, we're going to head to Vermeer. Be good out there.